Hey, hey y'all. y'all! And welcome to the Sorry Not Sorry Generation podcast, where we bring you a not so healthy dose of humor and reality as we get our hands dirty with some serious nostalgia and question everything. Let's dive in. Hey y'all! Hey, y'all. It's Misty. It's Ani. And we're back with another Eurovision episode for Armenian History Month. Woo woo! Let's see what else my people have decided to enter for Eurovision. We had a lot of opinions about the first several years of Eurovision that we saw. We Um, also forgot, we also didn't realize we should have watched the actual like music video submission. So we just watched the performances. So now we're doing the actual music videos. But the one we did watch was bizarre. Oh, the music video? Yeah. Yeah. Like it was bizarre. It like wasn't even funky. And because like Ani and I discussed in the last Eurovision episode that look, as Americans, we don't watch Eurovision, and most Americans don't. In fact, until the movie on Netflix came out with Will Ferrell, a lot no of one Americans had even was. yeah, a lot of Americans never even heard of Eurovision. So, like, we don't know how how it works, what the scoring system is, how people figure out how, who wins, who competes. Like, I'm aware that I guess Australia and Argentina are both in it, and like that's odd, but sure. So, like, we don't. We don't know a whole lot about Eurovision. This is the most amount of Eurovision I've ever watched, just the ones we've been watching for this. So we were watching a lot of the live performances. So I guess we're going to kind of mix it up a little with this because we're watching these videos on YouTube as one does. The first video, the one that we're going to watch, it's from the Eurovision Song Contest account, okay? But the second result below it says Eurovision 2016 Armenia's rehearsal with technical problems. And I'm like, okay, sure. So we watched quite a few of them. I think we got to 2015 before. The and last I think we started, one, yeah. I think we started in 2006. So there was quite a few of them. But we decided to split it into two episodes because there are quite a few of them left all the way up to the current year of 2014 or 2014. My God, 2024. Wow. Um, <laughs> it's off by a lot. <laughs> I was looking at the thing that's in 2015. And I'm like, no, it's a four. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we watched a lot of them. We're going to finish it up and bring it all the way up to the current year and go from there. Which is 2024. Um, we will be watching all of them from the official Eurovision Song Contest account. So if anybody would like to go watch them with us as we watch them, look, I am a hundred percent here for funky Eurovision videos and whatever they would like to represent, but we were going we're just gonna be really judgmental about it, okay? Like we're just we're gonna be kind that's of judgy. What, but that's what our audience is here for. Our yeah, you guys didn't come here for niceness. You came here to listen to us both be like, the fuck is wrong with these people? <laughs> <laughs> and to be fair, some of the songs have been pretty good. Like, there was one that we both agreed that we really liked. There's two. The, the 2009 one for, with Inga and Anna. That was yeah, my favorite and then one. the one from Lonely Planet was really good, too. I thought yes. that one was good. And so, like, look, we are harsh, but we're <laughs> not, we're not a hundred percent pessimistic like we're not we're not we're not mean be, like we yeah we're like, not mean it's art. we're just gonna be everyone, like honest yeah like everyone has their own style and tastes and interests and it doesn't vibe with ours and so we say we looking feel. like you got it like look if looking like you got shot on stage is your go-to thing <laughs> go for it again forget that one i i hate that so much (laughs) because like if he would have done it today they would have stopped the contest because people would have panicked you can do that in 2007 when that one came out but like today people would have there would have been a mass panic with the crowd thinking he'd gotten shot and just but but it doesn't make any sense would it though? Because it's in Europe. It's not in the States. If it was in the States, sure, oh my god, they got shot. But not I really mean, in Europe. We don't have like, a mass shooting issue. Well, okay, well, the question is what country does it take place in? Because, like, if it's in England, I would fully believe that these people would think that it was a terrorist attack of some sort. I mean, because it I'm, is England. So, 
and that's why but like if it's in somewhere like i don't know peaceful it Spain, changes it changes all the time well that makes sense too like the olympics does i mean okay what's a what's a peaceful country in europe that you don't expect shootings in <laughs> or terrorists sweden sweden that's fair if if i was in sweden i would have been just like oh Okay, well, no, that's not true. The The people in Sweden would have looked at it and thought art. An American over there would have been like, oh, my God, everybody get down. We're going to die. <laughs> so. Fact. Uh, the 2007 Eurovision was in Finland. So okay. still wouldn't have been any yeah, kind of the, mass the people in Finland would not have been worried about it. That's, that's fair. <laughs> also, I would, in 2007, if I'd have been watching it on TV, I'd have been like, oh my god, why is nobody freaking out? I think I got shot, oh my god. But that's an American point of view. I'll, I'll take that. I, that was very American-centric of me uh, to also, assume other people are worried about getting <laughs> shot at. No, that's just a thing <laughs> we poor Americans have to deal with. Because that's our culture, is just mass shootings. Every state in the United States has a mass shooting every year. Every state. It's not a single exception. It doesn't matter what you're looking at, where you're going, every single state. And it's true. <laughs> like I saw a video the other America day. And, as a whole. Yeah, and then the guy was just like, You're not depressed, you just live in the United States. I'm like, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, all right. Let us go. We are Ani, what are we watching? First. First, we're starting with 2016. So we're watching Iveta Mukuchian sing Love Wave. All right. Let's go. And this is the official video. What is happening? What is... I don't know. Like, first of all, nothing is in focus. And then everything else looks like I'm either watching Cells Divide, like for a plant, or I'm staring well, at a hot. man. Yeah, he is. <laughs> That's valid. <laughs> I'm not understanding any of the visuals, though. None. Why does this look like a science experiment crossed with a medical show? Oh, I don't like the wooing. The wooing? Don't like it. Okay, we are watching cells, and I think it's- I think the cells are supposed to represent the- the love chemical. Like, oh, creating God. love, and it's really weird. The song's called Love Wave, but there's no, like, sound wave reference, actual wave reference. No, she went with cell division. <laughs> Mitosis! <laughs> she can just see mitosis! Mitosis! <laughs> Mitochondria is the power of the cell! Literally. She looks and, like clothing, too. At one point, she was wearing like a, a white feather dress that looked it was just covering her boobs. Yeah. And, then, and then at one point, she's wearing like a very flappers era. And at one point, she's wearing a huge collar. The visual choices has a headache. are terrible. Like, look at that collar thing she's wearing. Yeah. And obviously, she's got a headache because she keeps holding her head. Yes. She keeps rubbing her hands all over her head. This feels like it would be the visual representation of what it would be to have a really bad migraine. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's all Is weird flashes of light. Like, like, feeling like looks like shots from the inside of her brain yeah this this has migraine feels yeah like if you guys ever want to know what like having a migraine feels like just watch this video that was weird okay okay pause it before it goes I, into the mm. next one I, mm. okay let's start with we'll rate the song and the video separately how's that so the song itself on a scale of one to ten song itself i'd give it like a five i was thinking like five i, I could have gone into six territory but my only problem and with all due respect to this woman she does not have the voice for the woo wooing Ooh. that she was doing <laughs> like her voice is not smooth enough to do that it does not sound very polished in that aspect so I'll go with a five. It's not the worst one we've seen, but it's no. not the best one we've seen. The right. video. Video. I'd give it like a three or a four. Like while yeah. it's got really good like graphics and colors yeah. and transitions, I don't get it. <laughs> yeah. Like it does not make any sense. It's the song is called Love Wave. There is no reference to any of it. It looks like the it, like you're watching somebody have a migraine and like, she changes outfits, like, a dozen times 
And she does most of the things that she's doing is throwing her hair around and holding her head. While the guy is very good looking, there was no point in him being there. They didn't even interact. He was just there. And they like, just he's like... Lo- he's clearly the love interest, but uh-huh. what am I supposed to get out of this? But they don't like, interact no at interaction, all. There's no interaction. There's nothing. It, in all honesty, it just kind of seemed like some kind of video effects graduate student's thesis rough draft. You know, like... Yeah. He's like the video editor has figured out what effects are and how to use them, but not well <laughs> enough that you're like, mm, mm. you're like, I understand you use this, and I'm, you know, I'm glad you know how. Was it the best choice though? And the answer was no, no, it's okay. not. So we are now moving into 2017. Ani, what will we be watching? We will be watching Artsvik. Sing Fly With Me. Okay, the 2017 Eurovision official music video. Let's go. Is that her hair? It's supposed to be her hair. I don't think it's... It's gotta be graphics, because... It has no to way. be, yeah. I mean, it could be, like, fake. Somebody could do that with a wig. But, like, this woman has a giant basket. circle of hair on her head. Yeah, it looks it's like, like a, it look like a basket. Okay, a cult. <laughs> cool. Starting with a cult. Okay. Okay. A cult doing the Egyptian dance, like the walking like an Egyptian dance, wearing ninja outfits. I'm confused. Dressed, the woman is dressed like Madonna. I don't understand the dance move. I was really hoping you would, because I'm like, does that make sense? That looks very Indian in terms of dance move. Yeah, I will give you that. It does. Like, I know Armenia is very up there in terms Mm. of arts and sciences. Yeah. Like, the country itself is very, like... It, it, they produce a lot of very advanced, like, sciences and art. Okay. But the fuck is this? Like, this is neither of those things. It is a cult. If this is if a young Madonna joined a ninja cult and- You know what's giving? Dan- the vibe that they're given off reminds yeah. me of this one, this one house that I got to see perform during- Oh, I forgot the name of the show. It's on HBO. But it's not necessarily drag, but like, you know, the ballroom scene. It's like you have all the houses, and one of the houses was all like ninja shit, like this. But of course, we had death drops and everything, so. Yeah. I don't know why, but every time I start one of these videos, I'm expecting to see something regarding Armenia, whether it's <laughs> colors or music. <laughs> Oh man, isn't it weird how every time I go to watch an Armenian Eurovision, I expect there to be a reference to Armenia in it? Like, no, that is valid and it should be. Why There's... does not a single one of these videos have anything to do with Armenia in any way? The Amosh and Inga one, all right, fine. They were wearing the Dadazes. Great. Yeah. And they were doing yeah. some of the Armenian dances. The <laughs> apricot sewn one, it was horrible, but at least they had an apricot. The rest of these, I don't get it the dorian's one the one that both of us love the Mm -hmm. lonely planet the lyrics to that were at least directed to armenian history nothing else i'm sorry i had to get that out of my chest like watch going into like knowing we were going to watch these and everything like that i expected them to in some (laughs) way relate to armenia in a way that wasn't just the fact that the people singing it are from Armenia. (laughs) I was expecting something, some reference to like the culture, the history, the colors, the the flag, like something literally and just none of it. And like, again, we don't watch Eurovision, but I would expect that of any, like if I was watching it about France, I would expect there to be like stuff about it in it i want to see baguettes and cheese on stage like (laughs) or maybe maybe okay (laughs) i mean the guy in in doing the early armenian one can look like he's gotten shot so why can't the fucking french one have a guillotine sure sure they can they can that's how they slice the breads (laughs) 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 just like there you go yeah but no i'm a little more disappointed that the music videos also don't have any reference to it. Because I just feel like if I you're doing these, they should reference the country. The country. <laughs> the country, the culture, the history, the, the something. Especially considering, like, with Armenia, 
and all of the stuff that you guys have been going through with uh, Azerbaijan and everything, like, this is a chance to put Armenian culture out there. And On they blast, just yeah. Don't. No, we don't have any, any of that. <laughs> and they just don't. And I'm like, but why? I can understand maybe, like, not all of the years they do it, but, like, so far we've gotten, like, two out of, or maybe three out of, what, ten? That's yeah. a little... I was only thinking, like, two or three of them maybe not to reference it so much, but no. Just a hard no across the board. Yep. So the song, I give it a five. I thought her voice was a lot better than the last one that we watched. I'll give her a six. Because I thought her voice was very smooth and, like, the quality of it and stuff like that. So, okay. like, that didn't... Okay, so five or six. Yeah, so, like, I and I thought it was a lot better than the last one. The dancing, I'm not... I don't know jack shit about dance or interpretive dance or whatever the fuck that is. That's my little cousin's area of expertise. I want to say it looked fine. My thing is... is like, it was concise. Was second... Yeah, like, they were good. They were on point and everything like that. This is the second video in the row where people keep holding their heads, though. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's a second video in a row. Madonna was everyone... voguing, okay? Madonna yeah, Madonna was, voguing. Madonna was voguing, but her backup dancers had a headache. And I'm just like, <laughs> okay. Like, we're doing this again, so sure, I guess. But I, I don't know. It was, it was weird. The video, five, I guess. Like, it was better than the last one, but we rated that one, like, a three. So it wasn't really hard to get better than that. So That's fair. You know. All right, Ani, what are we listening to? All right, for 2018, we're watching Sevak Ranakyan singing Kami. All right. Do I know what that means? No, I can tell you that the word Kam means nail. Okay. But I don't know what Kami means. I hope we'll find out. Oh, Ani. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's, singing, it's in Armenian. It's Armenian. Yeah, okay. These guys in their storms. He looks like he's in a jet hangar with, like, the doors. The only thing I've picked up so far is that what is the value of your love? That's all I've understood okay okay so here's a question then is he singing in eastern armenian yes okay it's in eastern everyone in armenia speaks eastern armenian yeah yeah but it didn't dawn on me to ask either i'm like oh yeah that's fair that's totally fair i mean half the time they're singing in english and i'm just like i think that was weird so we're upside down i'm closing my eyes and we're upside down again. i have no idea oh right side back we're up. underwater mm. oh there's a dead girl <laughs> <laughs> she looked dead. She looked real dead. It's the girl from the grudge. Looks like a cross between the girl from the grudge and the mermaid from the Pirates of the Caribbean movie. Oh. At least I'm this one is in Armenian, so that makes me happy. Yeah, and it's all in Armenian and not just like a few lines of it. Oh. Apparently it means wind. Wind? Okay. Well that would make sense for the visuals. Like, he's actually, this guy actually had the name of the song relating to the visuals that he portrayed. I would never have known that that, that Kami meant wind. Because that's not what we say. The background of that last scene was really pretty. Um, those mountains are really, really pretty. Okay. Easily one of the better ones we've seen. I think we can agree yes. on that. Yeah. By, by far, like the song title actually related to what was happening in the video which was good because like there was the a music lot was of, good yeah the music was really good there was a lot of like wind effects to it so like that makes mm -hmm. a lot of sense that that means wind so like i like this one overall i think it's definitely one of the better ones that we've seen i liked the song i liked the sound of his voice i thought it was really good i think the video was definitely one of the better ones so i'm going to give it an eight and I'll give the song, I think, maybe also an 8. I thought it was really good. I'll give the video an 8, and I'll give the song a 7. Okay. It was good. Yeah. Clearly, I'm very hard to please. Well, I mean, that's I'm valid. Close. I base it on the tone of his voice and, like, how well I thought he sang. You can base it off on what the actual words were. So. Of which I understood maybe two lines. Okay. All I, un I understood was, I'm closing my eyes, and what is the value of your love? That's all I got. Okay, that's fair. You know, but it's still two more lines than I knew. So, but I did think he was, he's one of the better singers we've had on here before. So, okay. And what is our next video? Already? Our next video is by Serbuk, and they are singing Walking Out. And this is for All 2019. Right. And again, this is the music video from the Eurovision Song Contest. If people really like these, maybe we'll go back and watch the Junior Eurovision ones because they have them. All right. Too. Yeah, they got the Junior ones too. 
So let's see what 2019's got for us. This is right before COVID, I imagine. Then, so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was in Tel Aviv. That's kind of cool. It's the first time I've noticed it tells me where it was. Oh, and, and the not the one we just watched, the one before that was in Ukraine. What is her hair? Lady, you're Armenian. Why do you have cornrows? Why? The What the fuck? You got spikes on her face? The effects in this one are weird as hell. All her dancers are men. Without shirts. They have the jackets. Yes, they have blazers. The thing that gets me is nothing that's happening in the video makes any sense with what she's saying. People with barcodes on their backs and like weird paint splatters in one of the earlier one scenes. And now they're pushing her around. Like a weird mosh pit. People, People covered wearing in plastic. plastic? That's just BDSM gone wrong. Oh my god. People wearing pantyhose on their face? Torn pantyhose on their faces. And now she's laying in a bunch of flowers floating on a cloud. I like her voice. She can hit those high notes. She, yeah, I'll give her credit. She's a good singer. And I don't mind the song itself. I just can't get past how much I don't like the video. <laughs> now I want exactly to watch the video. actual like performances. Yeah, like we might have to go and watch the performance for this. It looks like she was wearing a trash bag dress. I don't understand it's next year's that's 2020 okay that was weird that that was weird okay the song itself i'll give it like a seven yeah i didn't have any issues with the song the song can be a seven the video is like a four it at no point made any sense there was a lot of weird leather and color contrasting most of it was in black and white at one point they just had people sitting under giant sheets of plastic she's getting shoved around a lot i don't like her outfits there was a point where there was a woman with just metal sticking out of her face people wearing what looks like pantyhose ripped pantyhose on their faces no no. listen i'm sure there's a reason and like a methodology or whatever behind Sure. These videos, I don't see it. I don't get I, it. So to I me, it's. I'll also give it a four. Well, no, I'll give it a five. The video. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's the, odd. The and again, it, everything was well done. I just have no idea. It what just this doesn't song. like. I don't understand why it there's such a disconnect between the song and then, like, the actual video that goes with it. And I'm just like, they're supposed to be related. It's like they gave you. It's like we're gonna make a video, and we'll give you the song later. <laughs> like, we'll give you the song later. Yeah. Okay. Or here's a video concept. It has nothing to do with the song because the song's not written yet. But we need a music video. Yes. Okay. So are we watching the the live version below it? Do you want to watch the rehearsal clip? Sure. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, we can just watch part of the rehearsal clip just Let's to see, see how what's this going goes. on. Same song and everything like that. It's just a like a thirty second live. rehearsal clip. A lot of fire. She's by herself. She's on her knees. I like this outfit better. I wonder how weird it's gotta be when you go full out. Uh huh. When you perform for a rehearsal and there's just nobody there to watch you. I, I get know. it. You're testing everything. You're testing all the the sound effects. You're testing the the lights, the pyrotechnics, everything. I get it. You yeah. want to make sure things gonna go wrong, but like you're just gonna stand there and belt out a song. And there's nobody in the stands. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah, that's very true. And it would be really weird. Okay. For 2020, we are watching Athena Manokyan sing Chains on You. All right. The official music video. And this year, it's in... Is that France? In... Yeah. Rotterdam. Okay. Oh. So, immediately... It's a Lady Gaga concert. I was gonna say, it's very Gaga. It's very Gaga mixed with Sia. It is very Lady Gaga-ish. No, it's very, like, okay. Okay. It's a little, it's an odd mix of, I think, all of it, in all honesty. It's like, at one point she's, Yeah, and she's like, at one point she's dancing on a diamond. So the video is very Gaga. Mm -hmm. The song itself is very, like, Cardi B. Yeah. That's fair. I love her hair. She has beautiful hair. Yeah. The outfits are odd, but not as odd as some of the ones we've seen before. Like, they make sense. Every like, 
if I was watching an, like a, a music video and expecting like a normal video, this is the kind of outfits I would expect to see. And at least these guys actually look like they're dancing on purpose. Right. A lot of people in all white suits with rhinestones. And she's rapping. It is. I actually like all of the effects so far and like the set choices. I like the costumes. I like the yeah. I like the video. I don't I care do. for the song. Yeah, you know, like the song is just like one of those songs, but I like the video. The only part of the video I find odd is when she's standing with her legs so far apart and like bent like that. That's the only part of it I find weird. I like the when she's standing and like the the lights are hitting her in different angles, so like it looks like yeah. she's moving but she's not. Yeah. That is really cool. And then, like, the <laughs> the fact that her outfit shimmers so much, it adds yeah. to it, too. Okay, I liked okay. that one. I actually liked that one a lot. I thought that one was pretty good, all things considered. The Probably video, the- I will... I said the video, I'd give it, like, an 8. That was pretty good. Yeah, I think I'll give it, you know, I think I'll probably give it a 9, because I think it was the most cohesive. It made sense. I like the sets, the costumes, the dancing, and all that stuff. I think there's one of these years that there might not be one because of COVID. It might be 2021. But there's... It's it's interesting because there's a junior Eurovision for 2021, but we don't have... Must have been a different time in the year, maybe? Maybe. But we can check real quick before we go. But, like, I thought the costumes were all cohesive and they weren't stupid looking. Uh, I liked her outfits. She did actually have, like, dancing that made sense and was in sync with everybody else. I thought her voice was pretty good. So, like, the video I'll give... I'm going to give a video a nine because it is the most music video style video we've seen that is very cohesive overall, especially with that many people in it. Like the guy that we watched who did the song Wind, like that one was good, but it was just him. So there wasn't like a lot of coordinating going on, but she had a lot of stuff going on in her video. The song, maybe like a seven. Like I don't, it just seems kind of like a generic poppy love song to me with some R&B thrown in there. So, you know, like that, that I didn't really find special in any way, but I thought the video was really good. Yeah, there's not much for the 2021. 2021, I'm sorry. 2020, wow, I don't even know what he, the years anymore. Yes, <laughs> okay. So moving on to 2021, since we can't find 2020. Or, yeah, right? Wait. 2021 is the one we can't find. We just watched 2020. Okay, thank you, because I, I don't, I, I don't know. 2022. Like, it, it happened, but I guess we weren't part of it. Oh, the- that's the one they withdrew because of Azerbaijan. Ah, and even though Azerbaijan was part of it, fuck you guys. Yeah. It was like the week or two before it was supposed the to happen or whatever. Yeah. yeah. All right. 20 all right so what are we what are we doing for 2022 2022 we're watching rosa lynn perform snap oh look they have the 2024 one below Uh it and that one was Uh posted eight days ago Uh uh-huh so we're Uh timing this really well i've been seeing it which is why i'm just like let's watch eurovision stuff yeah all right we're starting it with a campfire it's in english looks like a war torn armenia the girl sitting there with her guitar. This is the Armenian Eurovision song. I've definitely heard this song on TikTok. You've heard this song before? Yes, many times. Well, that, there you the, go. The court is on Instagram all the time. What is she doing? She's trying to make her house fly? We've gone yep. from like a Eurovision contest to up. To up. <laughs> three, four. Yeah, that snap in three, four. I don't need you here anymore. Like, yeah, that is all over Instagram and TikTok. That's pretty cool. I've heard the song many times, but just the chorus. Her, I've never heard the rest of the song. Her name is familiar in, in a way. Rosa yeah. Lynn. And I'm just like... She made her house fly, man. I'm going to watch up too many times. I might stop talking to people before I snap. Huh? I feel that. Yep, this is Armenia. There's Mother Armenia looking over the city. I had no idea this was a Eurovision song. Let alone that it was an Armenian and Eurovision song at all. First time I've heard the whole song, too. I've only ever just heard the chorus. Just landed the house in the middle of Yerevan Square? All right. You had to pick up the trash she threw out the window. Right in the middle of Yerevan Square. 
All right. I love it. Imagine you're just trying to go home from work and you're just walking by and like there's a damn house in the middle of the square and you're just like, damn it, Eurovision. Like, that wasn't here this morning. How'd you do that, Eurovision? Like, come on. I'm like, literally all somebody would have to do is look at you and go, it's just a Eurovision thing. And you're like, oh, okay. But yeah, I I had no idea that was a Eurovision song, let alone it was one of Armenia's Eurovision songs. I have definitely heard that before. The chorus is just constantly on Instagram and stuff like that. And yeah, all the time. And anybody who um, yeah. no idea what I'm talking about, please go look up Rosalind's snap and you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, that was actually really cool. I was not expecting to find a song I recognized <laughs> as we were watching Eurovision. So, okay, that's actually really cool. I'm going to give everything about this, the song, the video, I'm going to give it a nine. Okay. I can get on board with that. Like, I liked the video. I liked her. I liked what she was wearing. It was none of this ridiculous over the top it stuff. It was in I Armenia. Yeah, like, like they actually said in Armenia. I recognize the song. Like, I'll, I'll agree with you. Straight nines. All right. On to 23. So what do we got here? Hey, brunette singing Future Lover. All right. Why is everything about love? I don't know, but like 90% of these songs have been love. I can only think of like two of them that weren't about love. In Liverpool. I just want to find someone enough to <laughs> kiss my face. Just... To like me enough just... to kiss my face. I just want to read books and I want to explore old bookstores and drink smoothies near cafes. This is the most relatable song so far. I don't like she her outfit. She looks like she walked off the set of Dune. Like, but like a strip club in Dune. Yeah. If the military outfits turned into sexy outfits. Like the front of her outfit is held together by a carabiner clip. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Her outfit, the set in the song it's a full orchestra we behind her we don't match she looks like she should be in an r b video she has a full orchestra behind her and her song is very like high pitched and light and flowy i decided to be good do good and look good well she's definitely not doing the last one it's so high pitched it's like if ariana grande just sang in her highest register i do not like this outfit at all no. Like, what is the point of the pants if there's no side to them? Outfit change. Oh, now she's she's wearing toilet paper. Okay. It's a it's lot like, of hair. She's like, I want to combine the Avatar movie with Dune for an outfit. And I want to be like if Ariana Grande and Cardi B had a child. Honestly, though, yeah. that is. <laughs> she kind of has like that Ariana Grande bone structure in her cheeks. Oh, now she's floating. Okay. Now it's an Armenian. Okay. That one was one of the weirder ones we've seen. I, that, yeah, that was, that was weird. I hated her outfit. It was terrible. It looked like it was being held together by clips only, but to be fair, because it was being held together by clips only, the flowy, high pitched, soft nature of the song didn't match her outfit at all. Didn't match the video at all. The orchestra also didn't match either her outfit or the video or the song, which was bizarre. The first lyrics, like the first lines of the song, super relatable. I also would just like to hang around and explore bookstores and read. But like if you would have just presented me with just the song with no visuals at all, I think I would have liked it a lot better. I, the, the video is like a three because it's just a mishmash. It looks like they gave her leftover stuff and told her to make a video out of it. I don't like the bells. I thought that was weird. Like the, the weird cloud toilet paper dress thing going on fits with the tone of the song and the orchestra. Very wispy, very Yeah, flowy. if you would have just done that the whole video, I think it would have been a lot better. Like put the, the orchestra there but the whole on a platform with the weird reflection bells and the dune outfit was just too much so that's just no no ani what do you rate the video a three yeah i, I know like the song so i give it like a six okay okay i like the lyrics to the song itself so i'll 5.5 5. okay I'll give it that. So uh, we've definitely heard worse. 
for sure. This is true. All right. This is our last one. We're moving on to 2024. This video was literally posted eight days ago. So we are right on time for this. Ani, what are we listening to? We are listening to La Daniva perform Jaco? Jaco? I don't know. We'll find out. Hopefully we'll find out. (laughs) Hopefully. Watch they don't mention the word at all. All right. Lace and an eyeball. Her outfit is great. Okay. There are no words to the song so far. Jaco. It's in Armenian. It is. She got in trouble with her mom by the looks of it. <laughs> I love it. The colors, the outfits, the the actual like. It's the only video we've seen that actually seems to relate directly to Armenia. Yep. She's holding a chicken. I mean, she's holding a chicken. That's fine. She's dancing. She's also holding pomegranates. You're, you said you're gonna find, you're gonna unleash geese or chickens at my wedding. So. <laughs> that was, isn't that for your wedding too, Sir Goosington? Though. <laughs> No, you said you're going to, well, for my wedding in Armenia. You're going to unleash geese. I don't remember that, but it sounds like you don't. You, you don't. <laughs> you don't remember saying that you're going to unleash geese because Aaron remembers I re- that. I remember saying I'm going to unleash geese. I didn't realize it was supposed to be at a wedding. <laughs> for my wedding in Armenia, yes, you were saying you were going to go okay. find a goose and just unleash it. Well, maybe that's just for if you don't actually want to get married, and like that's my backup plan. No, no, you, you. <laughs> vague recollection of this. Yes. I During have a vague campaign, recollection. You, you, you mentioned how you are going to find a goose and just mm-hmm. unleash it during dinner. I mean, would you be mad about it though? No, I fucking laugh my ass off. <laughs> like, okay. It does sound like something I would do. So yes, I, I have a yeah. vague recollection of talking about this. But to be fair, I talk about tormenting you guys with geese a lot. So like. This is my favorite. Yeah. I have to admit, this is what I expected yes. when we went to go watch Eurovision. Like, this is what I, like, it actually looks like it's it's set in Armenia. It has Armenian culture representations. Like, it just, there was so much to it from her outfit to where they were to, like, what she was doing. Maybe not the chicken, but, <laughs> like, to be fair. The Rosalind one, I really like, mm-hmm. too. Like, that music is really up my, it's up my alley so i really mm-hmm. liked it again also set in armenia you get to see a bunch of parts of, of yerevan yeah but this one yeah this one was much much this better. one was this is armenian culture in your face yeah and like in a way that like it wasn't tacky or weird or like just off completely off a cliff somewhere but like it was actually a positive representation in every way mm-hmm. that you put it out there this chick did extremely well like, this is the best representation of this that I've seen in, in any of the videos that we've watched so far. It actually relates to Armenia, talks about Armenia, and showcases it in a way that, like, you enjoy, too. Yes. So this is, this is, might be our first and only 10. I will give this a 10, yes. Yeah, this is, this one stands top tier above all the others by far. This is what I was expecting. We watched, like, what? almost two decades worth of Eurovision and this is the only video that has given the actual representation and like in a positive spin that we've seen in a way that pulled it off the way it was supposed yeah. to too like I don't know who this this woman is I've never heard of her before but like she she showed up and like if Armenia doesn't I don't know if the results for Eurovision are in or not but like if Armenia I don't doesn't know. play she super understood the assignment high, yeah like if Armenia doesn't play super high for this then there's something wrong because this is great let's find out in 2024 is so set to be the the grand final of the Eurovision contest will take May. place in on May 11 okay okay with semifinals uh, on the 7th and the 9th okay is it something you vote for? Can we vote for it? Can we vote for her? She deserves that because she was damn good. How do we vote? How does one vote in Eurovision? All viewers in participating and non-participating countries alike can vote using the official Eurovision app. Or oh, okay. you can go to www.esc.vote and you can vote there. So yes, apparently we are going to wrap this video up with telling people to go vote in May for this song the armenian Armenia, yes armenia will be in the second semifinal. okay so y'all need to go and you need to vote because this is the 
best one we have seen may by not. a large margin like i know like the other song that we you know we've had eights and we've had nines the gap between those like the eight and the nines and ten is wide yeah. this is easily the best one that we've we've seen by far i love this video and i like the song i liked all of the effects and everything she, and like she wasn't doing anything you would expect to see really in a music video she was literally just interacting and what looks like interacting with her family at where they mm -hmm. lived and like but she did it in a way that was really relatable and friendly and i don't have a chicken to hold but i got a cat so you know there's that hold the cat i'm hold looking the at cat. the uh... I'm the chicken was the, more uh, well behaved than my cats. So yeah, I'm looking at the uh, the first semifinal participants, and Croatia is participating with a band or whatever called Baby Lasagna. I don't know what language they speak in Croatia, but do those words mean something different over there? Please say us. Their song is called Rim Tim Tagi Dim. I hope that means something in Croatian. But yeah, Bambi Thug. <laughs> Singing, doom, Ireland, doom, doom. what are you doing? <laughs> Ireland's Bambi Thug with their song Doomsday Blue. This Ireland. is Bambi Thug. Oh no. That's she looks Bambi like Thug. she walked out of a 2007 emo music video. Okay. All right, let's see what Baby Lasagna looks like. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, cool. No, thank you. What picture do they have of the I mean, woman we just listened to? I don't remember her name. Brahminia? Yeah. La Daniba. Ta da! Okay, with the braids the... and her hair and everything and the, the, the yarn. I love it. Yeah, she looks really good. The dude with the trumpet was really good too. Oh my god, look at her sash! It's very Armenian. Very That's Disney really pretty. King. I love it. That's very pretty. I love her necklace. My gosh. Yeah. That's really pretty. That's really, really pretty. I love I love this one. 2024 is a 10 out of 10. It was fantastic. I honestly, like, I think that's what Eurovision should be. Should be. Actual yeah. representation of, like, culture, but in a positive way that makes you enjoy, like, what you're listening to, what you're watching, and everything like that. No offense to Lasagna Bambi or whatever, but, <laughs> like. Maybe Lasagna, yes. You know, or Bambi Thug, but I, I don't know. Like, I just think that that's the way these videos and everything should be, is they should be representations this way. And I don't know if that's the point of Eurovision or not, or if there is a point to Eurovision or not, but I would be much more interested in watching it if it was representations in this way of mm -hmm. the countries that they're supposed to be representing, especially for countries like Armenia, where it's important to try and like get that cultural representation out there when you have the opportunity to do it because it's an underrepresented country as a whole. Yep. And especially underrepresented, with, like, constantly under attack, still trying yeah. to be wiped out. And it's a little sad that it took two decades to actually have that representation but this girl i don't she seems pretty young like it's good to see that somebody who is as young as she is is trying to put forth that representation mm -hmm. and, it, and it says a lot of good things about the youth that is over there too i don't know how old she is but i'd say she looks like she's about 19 maybe so but that says really good things about her and the people that are over there and just trying to put that out there i really hope armenia does very well so everybody go mark on your calendars for may to vote in the second Eurovision semifinals for Armenia. Yes. And go listen to this song on YouTube. Like you can go watch the video we just did on YouTube on the Eurovision account. It was fantastic. And I think if you're gonna watch any of the videos, you should go watch that one. Though I do she's recommend the snap video too. 97? Oh, she's a little, oh Jesus. That makes her in her late 20s. She's 27. Then. Yeah, that makes her, yeah, that makes her in her late 20s. That's pretty cool. She's, she looks a lot younger than that, but you know, like it's, it's good to see that they're, she's trying to represent Armenia in such a, a good way. The, and... the trumpeteer is French. Oh, okay. Louis Thomas. Okay. That's cool. Born in 87. He's a full 10 years older than her. Yeah. He's very good. At yeah. Being a trumpeter and a flautist. I believe he had a flute at one point. 
He's um, a accomplished jazz musician. And that makes sense considering the things that he was playing and all that. So, but yeah, I, I thought that was great. This is what I wanted out of Eurovision. I got to say, I am mildly disappointed with some of the other years in that there was none of the truly wild and crazy shit that I was expecting. Oh. Like I was expecting just like we're watching a Vegas show kind of insanity or something like that, but we didn't okay. get insanity. We just got kind of weird. I, I think if we wanted the, the level of insanity that you're expecting, we need to watch like Finland and yeah. so I've, I've definitely seen clips from some of the videos that was, I just, I did kind of expect every country's to be as bizarre, but I guess there has to be a, a king of the bazaars in <laughs> Northern European countries, I guess, to get a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, but when you yeah. get that much snow, I guess it's... you got nothing but time to rehearse. <laughs> yeah. So, why not? So, yeah. But I thought this one was really good. I liked all of the songs in this video. Well, not all of them. I, I was going to say I liked them all better than I did the last video, but that's not true. I liked several... I liked more songs in this episode than I did in the last episode. Because a lot of the ones in the last episode were a huge miss. There was only like two I think that I actually liked. I liked most of these. There was only like one or two where I was just like, good God, what am I looking at? What am I listening Fair. to? So, yeah. Final thoughts on Eurovision, Ani? I just hope from here on out that Armenia is this level of representation. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Like, we've got high expectations, not only for the rest of Eurovision for this year, but just in the future of Eurovision for Armenia. I hope, I uh, like, if Armenia was ever going to win Eurovision, it should be for this song and yeah. this video. Like, this is what they should win Eurovision for. And I hope they do. I really do. And so everybody should make sure you go to the Eurovision site. Vote for they, my people! Oh and my you should God. vote. You should tell your mom just to just send a mass message to everybody in her contacts just on like whatever the semifinal day is that they need to vote. Uh, my question is, I have not heard of any of these people. Of course not, because we're not in Europe. We are but very like a American lot of our music travels. Yeah, but like a lot of our music travels over there, and like I know there are like people like we have a like Adele. I understand who that is, and she's not from over here, and all that stuff. Like there are people who go and like, that's just one of many, many examples. Don't come for me in the comments. Thank you. But I don't recognize the names of any of these people, nor any other Eurovision song I've ever listened to. Have I recognized the names of these people? I'm curious as to whether or not these people are famous there or if it's kind of the point to not have a super mega famous person do it. Like if America, if the United States was in Eurovision, could we put forth Beyonce? Or is she disqualified because yeah, she's too famous is what I'm trying to say. Like what kind of level of popularity do, do people have to have? Because like, I don't think any of these people are like top of the line mainstream people. And I'm just kind of curious what, where's the cutoff? It's fair. So, any final thoughts on the second half of Eurovision, Ani, before we really just ruin Eurovision for everyone? No. <laughs> just gonna no. leave it there. Leave let it it, let's just let it go there. Like, that's fine. But I will say, like, it, I enjoyed this episode and all of the performances for Eurovision a lot more as a whole. There were several that were I thought were really good rather than just like the two from the last episode. So that was, I, I was glad to see at least one of them represented Armenia. So yes. I thought that was really good. I, I liked this one. I liked, I was really surprised. I recognized one of the songs, but I thought this episode was really good. And the ones in the later decades have definitely improved by far, whether that's because there was an improvement in visual effects from the early 2000s or like maybe people just figured out how to use them. But either way, these videos were much better. Fair. All right, I guys. Did... All right, guys. Uh, stick around for the rest of Armenian History Month. We've got some things going on. We're working with Jessica. She's going to give us some art if it's not out already. So go check out 
our Instagram so that we can show you guys some of her art. And she is an artist. She recently did uh, art for a zine. Is that how you say it? Zine. Zine or nine for a Armenian charity zine. And all of the proceeds from purchasing the zine go to charities for Armenia, helping with, I believe, displaced people in Armenia. And so go ahead and go to our Instagram, check that out. You can find Jessica and all of her art there as well. And from there, you can also find information about the zine. So beyond that, also go and just say, and come say hi to us if you'd like to. You can also find our link tree there where we've got a bunch of bonus content on our website and a whole bunch of other information from the D&D campaign to just art that we have on there as well and a whole bunch of stuff in between. Or if you just want to come say hi to us, you can come send us a message and give us any ideas for any videos and anything that you'd like to see. Also, once again, if you have stories you would like us to read for work horror stories please yes please send them please send them to do another one we are fully willing to make it anonymous and we will change the names of the companies if you would like us to do so or you can just change them and tell us fake company names anyway we are looking for stories to put together a fourth episode for work horror stories you'll get some stories from me we intend to have a guest of a friend of ours who is a former world's happiest place on earth member <laughs> and we're gonna have to figure out and not just world's words. happiest place on earth it's also the other place we'll have to come up with names it's like the world's least magical place on earth <laughs> the worst place on earth something something like that or Mars's most magical mountain or something like that. But so that there's no there's no slander technically. <laughs> so, no. So come and get prepared for a new work horror stories episode. So come and drop us a line, drop us a story if you want to and we will be happy to read them out on the air. And yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying Armenian History Month. We do have episodes from last year's Armenian History Month as well. And if you do a little bit of scrolling in our Instagram, you can find Ani's posts from last year about different Armenian foods. So this year we're doing something different. So you guys can take a look for that as well. And yeah, we will see you guys next time. Tune in next week for more fuckery because we have some serious questions and concerns.